Hi, it's Rowan here with Interfaith Philadelphia's Mosaic Program. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make one of my favorite snacks, Spam Musubi. In your Mosaic supply bag, you'll find a small bag filled with ingredients. Here's what you have in the bag. One sheet of nori or seaweed, two packages of single-serving Spam, we're just using one for this project, one cup of white rice, half a tablespoon of sugar, and four packets of shoyu, or soy sauce. We also have a little uh, instruction sheet, just in case. You may have been given a box of tofu instead of spam if you have dietary restrictions. You're going to need to provide your own cooking oil because we have not included oil in this kit. Have an adult help you prepare the rice that we've included. You can do it on the stovetop or in a rice cooker. I prefer to do mine in a rice cooker. Next, empty all four packages of soy sauce into your small bag of sugar. This is going to become your marinade for your Spam to soak in. Seal your plastic bag tightly and begin to mix your soy sauce and sugar mixture with your fingers. Make sure to get rid of any big clumps of sugar in there. Now you're gonna open your bag of Spam. We're going to cut our Spam into two equal pieces to make two rectangles. Now we're going to put the Spam into the bag of marinade we just made. Put the Spam in, seal the bag up, and make sure the Spam is nice and evenly coated. Then we're going to let the Spam sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Next, preheat your pan on medium heat. You're going to want to put a little bit of the oil into your pan, just about a spoonful. See? Take the Spam out of the marinade and set it into the hot pan. Let the Spam cook about three or so minutes on each side. It should look golden brown, just like this. I like to save a little of the marinade and put it on the Spam while it cooks. This just gives it a little extra flavor, but you don't have to do this step if you don't want to. Take your nori out of the bag and begin dividing it into thirds. You could actually divide it into fourths or half even. It all depends on how much nori you actually like to eat. I've always found that cutting it into thirds seemed like the perfect amount for me. Now we get to assemble the Spam Musubi. First, put a piece of Spam at the bottom of a piece of nori, just like this. Then you're gonna wet your hands. This makes it so the rice doesn't stick to them. You're gonna measure about half a cup of rice. Before you do this, you want to make sure that your rice is not super hot because you're gonna be touching it with your bare hands. Place the rice into your hands and begin to firmly press it into a ball. You want to try to squeeze it not too hard, but firmly enough that it forms and doesn't just fall apart on itself. Then, while holding it in one hand, you're going to use the other hand to kind of press down on it and make it into a rectangle shape, about the size of your piece of Spam. Or tofu, if that's what you're using. Again, make sure that you're pressing your rice pretty firmly so that it doesn't fall apart on itself. Place your rice rectangle on top of your Spam. You may need to reform it a little bit to make it fit on top. Then you're going to start to roll your Spam and rice into the nori, just wrapping it up like a little blanket. Be sure to give the final end of the nori just a little bit of a rub so that it doesn't all fall apart. And there you have it. Uh, you just made a Spam Musubi. It's been so fun uh, doing this with you here. And I hope that you had a really good experience. If you want to know more about the history of Spam Musubi, I've included it on the recipe document. So yeah, have a really wonderful day 
and enjoy your snack. Mm.